What is going on guys? This is Ben here coming at you pretty late. It's 1am right now recording this video, but I had the urge to open up some tins here and I actually need this promo card here for my deck. I don't own a copy, a copy of Black Rose Dragon at the moment. I need it for the extra deck in my hero deck. I will be making a deck profile on that very, very soon. Locked down a lot of the stuff. Played some, uh, played the locals. It was like a VIP tournament for, uh, what was it? Um, for the YCS coming out in Ohio, if you if we actually won that tournament, you would have got a two round buy at the at the at the at the YCS. Sorry for the for, I couldn't I couldn't think of the name. But today we are going to be opening up a 5D's You Say tin. This is first edition duels Genesis packs, and this one has first edition Crossroads of Chaos packs. So the 5D's for Black Rose Dragon tins. And then the Yusei photo tin here, hoping that Stardust Dragon are just good pulls in general. But like I said, the main reason why I'm hoping, I need, I, I'm not hoping, I know I'm going to get a Secret or Black Rose and I need that for my, uh, for the extra deck with heroes. Like I said, we're going to be, I, I told you guys I'm making the deck profile on it, but I like, for me, it's like, I want to, I want to give you guys deck profiles that are actually like good and I, I'm proven and testing this like stuff that I'm actually playing. So it's not just like something randomly thrown together. So it's been taking some time uh, trying to lock down the choices. I know there's like the 60 hero or the 60 card hero deck, but I'm not, I'm not a really huge fan of that. But we also get the Montage Dragon here. I don't wanna, there we go. Just set that down. All right, so Montage Dragon, Secret Rare. Very, very cool card. I don't know if it's fully in focus. Hold on, I gotta turn on one more light. I think that's a little bit better. I don't know, but Montage Dragon, how you doing? Been a while since we opened up one of these tins. I still have a bunch more, but they are like, the Black Rose ones especially are kind of like collect, very collectible nowadays. Uh, we have like a free entry to a tournament and then I think these are the, uh, I believe, it's been a while since I've opened it. I think these are just tokens, but we might as well open them. Why not, right? I think they have a bunch of different tokens yet, but the lamb token, stray lambs, grander golem, and then a phantom sky blaster. Blaster, kind of cool. Like with links, these guys are like super broken. Grander, grander golem is like with the akashic magician, bouncing back, special them again. You just get a ton of tokens and sky blaster, very good for getting out token cards. A lot of uh, uh, a lot of these sky striker cards were using this for a while back. Uh, I still think some variants are. But it's cool to see like token cards. Coming in clutch, but we have the Light of Destruction. We'll get into the Black Rose Dragons tin soon, but definitely liked if you guys like the old school openings. Like I still have a bunch of old school stuff. Mainly, I've been just doing new school, um, new stuff that comes. But we'll say the first edition, first edition Duels Genesis for now, and then we have Phantom of Darkness here. So hopefully, get like an ultimate rare, a ghost rare. That would be insane. Those will be classified as really good pulls. We got instant Neo Space, and this is perfect timing too because those uh those Mega Tins for 2018 are coming out, and they have Jaden Yuki and Yusei Tins. So very very cool. But we have Giga Plant there, not bad. Dark Crusader, Neo Space, and Twinkle Moss. Very very cool. I didn't know Neo Spaceans were also in this set here. But put down our rare there, and I guess we'll. Just because it's a Neo Spatian slash Elemental Hero guy. Neo Spatian, Twinkle Moss. How you doing, bro? I mean, Glow Moss just got reprinted too. Like all the Neo Spatians and everything. So, Light Destruction coming up. Uh, previously, we did pull a Ghost or Honest. If you guys remember that. So, Arcana Force VI, The Lovers, Shortcut Circuit, Light Spiral, Space Gift, Froggy Force Field, and Arcane Call. So, not bad. Two rares. Mainly out of tins, you're hoping to get like one hollow if you're lucky. So we'll test our luck today. Next pack, Light of Destruction, Miracle Flipper, Arcane Force, Light Spiral, Cup of Ace. <laughs> All you Exodia players need this. Toss a coin. Heads, you draw two cards. Tail, your opponent draws two cards. Cymorg, Bird of Ancestry, Arcane Call. So no no really good um pulls in this one cyborg bird of ancestry but a couple of vases i think uh, is still worth a little bit i'm not sure i believe so but still i think it's banned right now I believe it is because i think they are, if it's not it's either i don't know i don't it's either it's banned or it's not i don't know 
I know the Exodia decks got hit hard, and not many people play them, especially with hand traps now, too. Ghost Guard, but our first Duels Genesis, and we have a Nitron Synchron. At least we got a Hollow. Not a super great one, but at least it's first edition. Then we have Mind Over Matter. All right, so. Last first edition Duels Genesis. If you guys did not know, Ultimate Rare Stardust Dragon is good. Ghost Rare Stardust first edition worth even more. I think it's around 300 to 400. I oh, don't know. The price fluctuates a lot. Near mint ones are probably around 400 nowadays. Recycling batteries. And we did get an ultimate rare. Let's go. We have Psychic Overlord. Ultimate rare first edition. Man, that is awesome. Not... Okay, let's be real here. Not like the best ultimate rare to get, but nonetheless an ultimate rare. Select three psychic, mom, psychic monsters in your graveyard. Return them to the deck, then draw two cards. If this was a spell card, it'd be so much better. Because if there was ever a psychic deck that got like super popular or pretty good, whew, this, would be, this would be nasty in there, but not bad. So we got two hollows. Can't complain out of the first 10. And we got the ultimate rare, man. I just like couple base, so it's going to chill there. So... That'd be cool if we've been ultimate rare Stardust Dragon. Like, if I would have saw a Synchro in that slot, you better believe. You better believe. Homeboy here would have been going crazy. So, in this tin open here, some of these are kind of hard to open. This one was not. And I do like these tins compared to, like, the 2002, 2003 tins where the promos were just, like, sitting in the back and they get damaged. But there we go. That one's going straight straight into the extra deck <laughs> why might as well put in the put them in the actual world championship qualifier sleeve let's go for extra deck Ooh, black rose dragon if you guys didn't know what those are you get those when you attend um uh nationals they give you a pack of sleeves for you give you, you get the mad a pack of sleeves and then if you pre-register you get those those uh dice that are actually like the millennium like the millennium items dice so they're worth a lot and then last year was like attribute dice and they're worth quite a bit. So, this one also does have Duels Genesis, but it's unlimited. We have the Light of Destruction. And the Phantom of Darkness. And then we do have some more tokens. This time we won't open up the tokens. But we'll save, like last time, the Crossroads of Chaos. First edition for last year. The old school packs, man. Light of Destruction. We got pretty good luck with Light of Destruction. We pulled an alt or a Ghost Rare Honest out of this. Out of the, it was out of the Jaden tins though, or not Jaden, <laughs> not the Yusei tins, but upside down pack, okay. Arcana Force Zero, Cloudian Storm Dragon, Unifrog, Arcana Force XVI, the Moon, and we have Light Barrier, so Realm of Light, okay. Light Destruction did not come in clutch today. Next up, Phantom of Darkness. Let's see what we get, we get Obsidian Dragon. Cybernetic Horizon. I was going to say Cybernetic Horizon. Cybernetic Zone. Cybernetic Horizon, the new booster box that just came out recently. Blue Thunder T45. Black Velocity. And Metabo, Metabo Globster. Mirashi, we got Avion on there. Nice. Okay. We get some luck here. The Duelist Genesis Unlimited, but still, a Ghost Rare pull, still nice. Needlebug Nest used to be amazing. Mirror of Yada, Battle Tuned, Space Gate, and Izanami. Ooh, that might be a good card. Behind. Nope. Curry Bonds. I don't know. I forget when it was when they decided to give you rares and hollows. Before it was just like, if you got a hollow, you didn't get a rare. But then they couldn't use the guaranteed a rare in every pack. So they're like, ooh, that's good. But first edition, Crossroads of Chaos. Test our luck here. Pursuit Chaser. Revival Gift. Horsey Tail. Morphtronic Magnum. And Storm Caller. Ooh! We <laughs> okay. I guess you do get uh, you do get the, uh, the rares in here. We got a... I wish it was ultimate, but... Still cool. Ultra rare Doom Kaiser Dragon. So this one takes Plague Spreader. I'm actually using him in the hero deck. It's really nice to get, uh, basically gets rid of bricky hands. Like, say you open up with, like, 
because I run uh, Honest Neos, and then uh, not Honest Neos. So say you say you're running like Cyframe drivers. Um, you're on malicious say you open them. It's really really bad You want to get them out of your hand so you could uh play for play spreader zombie put on the top of your deck the Malicious and then majority of the times you have a way to like search another card from your deck or shuffle it at least so you're not drawing that malicious again, but uh, Play spreader zombie one or more non tuner zombie monsters when this card is special summon You can select one zombie type monster in your graveyard and special summon it to your opponent's side of the field and tax vision Destroy when this card is removed your opponent's side, but ultra nonetheless. First edition too. Makes me wary of this pack then. Might not get anything. We'll have to wait and see. Healing Wave Generator, Seed of Deception, Poison Chain, Morphtronic, Boombox in. Ooh, we got a secret rare. Oh my god, man. Let's go. This is a crazy tin. Wasn't the ghost rare, but secret rares are also very very good. I just have like random sleeves because you're wondering why they're all different colors, but Neos Wise Men. This card cannot be normal summoned or set. This card cannot be special summoned except by sending one face up elemental hero Neos and one face up Yubel you control to the graveyard. This card cannot be destroyed by card effects. If this card battles an opponent's monster, at the end of the damage step, inflict piercing inflict damage to your opponent equal to that <laughs> can't read this man. At the end of the damage, flick damage to your opponent equal to the attack of the monster at battle and gain life points equal to the monster attack. Holy crap, dude. Neos Wiseman. I don't know the value on this, but anything related to like elemental heroes and the Neospatians do fall in that category usually have some decent value. So this is for sure going in the hero collection. Even though it's not strictly elemental hero, he still falls in the category. I know Megma Neos just got reprinted too. He was a high up there secret rare. So other than that, that was a crazy box. We got cards that we needed. It wasn't a box, it was a tin. Uh, obviously the promos. We have the ultimate rare first edition Psychic Overlord from the Duels Genesis. So at least our packs came in clutch. Neos Wiseman, Doom Kaiser Dragon, ultra rare. Obviously I need this, but sweet. And then we got something to add to the collection. So pretty good tin opening. Hopefully this is a good sign so that we pull amazing once those 2018 Megatins come in because I'll be opening a bunch. I bought a case of them. <sighs> but I'm hyped. Hopefully we get, um, crap, what is he? The, the Elements of Heroes, that's the Earth level 4 that basically has the Goblin Burger uh, effect where you can special summon a level 4 hero. I forget its name, but it is still awesome. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more awesome videos. And I'll see you guys later.